there's uh, basically no way you can see this because my phone camera is not sensitive enough and basically nothing short of a several thousand pound camera is sensitive enough but uh, at least to do this with video but behind me is a comet uh, at the moment it's visible between about two and four in the morning uh, it's just on the cusp of being visible to the human eye at night uh, with a pair of binoculars you can get a reasonably good look at it um, but it is right on that edge where you think is that a fragment of my imagination or is it real um, it is it is right there and because it's the summer the Sun is already rising um, we will probably be able to get a better look at it in uh, the end of July uh, when it will become visible in the evening uh, but comets are very unpredictable things they are clusters of ice and rock uh, it is breaking up which is why it has a trail um, it could be gone by the time the better viewing position later in the month comes around it could have broken up and be completely invisible uh, or just not be there anymore so that's why I came out to do a bit of night photography with my meager ability and and to see it um, again you can't see it in video I'll hopefully put some photographs in comets are fascinating things throughout history they have um, turned up in suspicious circumstances and times in history where you might think well that sounds like a badly written plot doesn't it um, like uh, you know like the opening of Game of Thrones or a comet blares in the sky um, most famously there was a great comet in the year before the Vikings came which was also associated with an extremely strong aurora borealis um, people talked about lights flashing in the sky and dragons fighting which was almost certainly aurora borealis comets along with eclipses are probably the, the celestial events that most terrified people before the enlightenment when we use telescopes to find out what these things actually are there is a general consensus that a great comet, which has occurred throughout history, that there are great comets, has to be very strongly visible. This one probably doesn't count because it's just on the cusp of being visible with the naked eye. It probably needs to be about, I don't know, it needs to be star light bright, which it, this one certainly isn't. Uh, the last comet that was easily visible in the night sky before this one was in 2013. Uh, which makes this a particularly interesting event, and a lot of people are talking about it. Um, I'm very lucky to live in a part of the country where I can comparatively easily escape the light pollution. There's actually dawn coming, because it's blasted summer, and dawn comes at like 3 in the morning. Um, so even though I am here at 3 in the morning, there's shed loads of light pollution from the blasted sun. But even if I weren't in that particular town, there's a, there's a town on the horizon that... Um, yeah, that would that would kind of blow it out anyway. But it's pretty remarkable. This is the first comet I've seen with my with my own eyes. Um, every other time that I've heard about them, they've been and gone. So I was quite eager to come out and uh, have a look at this. It's pretty neat, and uh, yeah, pretty neat. You can't see it, but hopefully I'll put in some photographs to show the very faint wiggly line that my camera could record. Hooray!